Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Mong. In this video, we are going to learn about how you can add observability to your AI powered application. Observability is one of the very key aspect when you are building a production ready AI application because you want to know that what's going on inside your AI application, how much tokens are being utilized, how much output tokens are being utilized. You want to make developers work easier, right? By giving developer friendly debugging tools. So that's why we need observability tools, right? There are many tools available. For example, Langsmith, Langfuse, Phoenix. So these are the various tools you can use to add observability into your AI powered application, LLM application, right? So in this video, I'm going to focus on the Langfuse because I like the Langfuse and its features. Langfuse provides really great UI as well as features when you want to add observability into your application. It's an open source tool, so you can also host on your cloud as well. But if you want to use their services, you can just sign up on their platform and you can get all the API keys and you can integrate with your existing application. So here I'm going to create account onto the Langfuse and I'm going to show you how you can integrate with the Langchain. So that's we are going to learn in this video. But if you want to host Langfuse on your cloud as well, you can do that. It's a very easy process. You just go to their GitHub. They have a Docker image and you just spin up your containers using those Docker images, right? And you don't need to pay to Langfuse anything. So that's the power of open source tooling, right? So let's see what are the different features and things provided by Langfuse. So I have already signed up on to Langfuse. Let me log into Langfuse and create a project. So this is basically a landing page or a dashboard of Langfuse. I have already created this coding monk organization and let me create a new project mastering gen AI. And once I create a project, it will give me this secret key and public key. So this API keys I'm going to use into my application. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to add those API key into my dot end file so that I'm not going to show. So I have copied my API keys into my environment file. Now let me add those environment variable into settings as well. So let me do that length use secret key and length use public key. So I've added here and now to integrate with Langchain, I can go to this Langchain tab and I can use this snippet to integrate Langchain with the Langfuse. But before integrating, let me show you what we can do with Langfuse. So if you go to tracing, in tracing, you will be able to see various traces of LLM calls which happen into your application. You can also create a session. For example, I'm building an AI application or AI assistant application. And each time user comes and creates a new thread or new session, based on that, I want to trace everything. Like what are the different chats happened? How many tokens are being utilized for that specific session? So all those things I can trace here into session. I will also be able to see the generations here. So that once we integrate, I will show you what are the different details we'll be able to see. You can do scoring. You can see there are different models available here. And it also shows what are the different prices per tokens as well, right? So this is basically a model configuration and this is maintained. This configuration is maintained by Langfuse. Tokenizer is OpenAI. So Babbage is basically an OpenAI model. And these are the different charges for input and output tokens, right? You can also do human evolution as well as LLM as a just. So if you want to create a test cases or evolution pipeline, you can do a manual human evolution and annotation. And you can also add LLM as a judge to evaluate your AI workflow. So this is a really great feature when you want to evaluate your AI application. So you have both of the options available into Langfuse. You can also manage your users here. This is one of the great feature. You can, if you want to manage your prompt into cloud, as in previous tutorials, we had written all the prompts into code, right? So that's not the ideal way to do it. If you want to change a prompt, you'll need to go to your code and modify your code, push it to GitHub or any version control and uh, your whole application will be built again and it will be pushed to production or any development environment, right? What you do here is you create a prompt, you define all the variables which are into prompt and Langfuse has its own APIs to access different, different prompts, right? So you can access Langfuse API and fetch these prompts and use those prompts into your application. So you don't need to maintain your prompts into your code. So this is really one of the important thing I want you to adopt to because I think this is the ideal way to manage your prompts. And whenever you want to push 
that specific prompt into production, you, you can also label those prompt as a production and you can also maintain versions of the prompts. So if you have modified your prompt seven times, you can also check different evaluation on different different prompt versions. So this is really great. You can also judge based on that only that which prompt is best suitable for my application based on different evaluations, right? So this is really awesome thing, I think. And if you have your own LLM API keys, you can add it here and you can have your own playground as well. You don't need to go to OpenAI or Bedrock to play around with your LLM. And here you can upload different data sets. So in this video, let's go and start integrating LangFuse into our application. So let me go to the project and go to traces and let me go to configure tracing. Here I'm going to install this LangFuse. So I'm going to install LangFuse and now I will need to add this call handler when I invoke my model. So let me go to my backend and let me open my OpenAI provider and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this LangFuse handler. I'm going to just copy as of now and instead of defining statically I'm going to define this private key and public key here and cursor is suggesting me to do this so I'm just going to accept cursor's recommendation same thing I can do for bedrock as well so again I don't need to undo anything here I can just use cursor suggestions and that's it so so let's check it out if it works so i'm going to go to my front end application and ask a question so before asking a question let me go to the project we don't have any traces here so you can see there are no traces or generations and let's now make a api call to our model i'm going to choose as of now open ai what is artificial intelligence can you give short answer and yep i got a short answer from my model and if i go here and load this page i should be able to get some traces right so let's wait for maybe a few seconds and here it is right so if i go to this trace i will be able to see all the things right so here you can see this was my input input was by user and this was the question right what is the artificial intelligence can you give short answer this was my basically a prompt here i have output from the assistant so this is the basically a text i got from the llm and here is some metadata like provider is open ai gpt 40 model model type is chat this was my temperature and max output token was 4096 right and here i can see that what was my input token and what was my output token and it is approximately around 81 total token and this llm call cost me around 0 0.00578 dollar right so this is really great if i go here i don't have anything into score but if i want to annotate this i should be able to do that right so for that we'll need to create scores and add into this data set but you get the idea right you will be able to basically do all the traces here so here we have very simple call but if your ai application have multiple calls right we are getting some output from the llm and then we are feeding that output into some engine and again to the llm then all these traces you will be able to see here and this is basically a generation where you will have user input and we have output and it also shows latency time to first token input token as well as output token you can say it's a complete completion tokens and all the different parameter you will be able to see so this is a trace again it was generation only which i was showing you so this you can see here as well you can see timeline as well if you are building your ai agents then you will be able to see all the different llm calls happening from your ai agent application here only and if I go to dashboard, I will be able to see how many traces are there, how much tokens I've utilized 
till this date or in last 24 hours so all this filtering i will be able to do here right so this is really great let me do one more call so it's giving me some answer and let me go back here again and go to this traces and i will be getting that into few seconds because it takes time to process all the output from the llm and put it into langfuse database right okay we got the basically the trace here so this trace took around 0.69 second for the first token to come and latency was 4.5 second because our output was quite a large right it was not a small we had a multiple paragraphs here so if i go here into generation again we'll have a prompt how much time it took to get the first token what was the latency what was the input tokens and output tokens what was the cost and different parameters right and again in traces i will be able to see the same so i think this is the thing i wanted to show you uh, this tool is really awesome and really helpful when you are building ai powered application let me go to langfuse website and show you how you can deploy self hosted langfuse as well so let me go into docs and if i go here and go to self host we have different option for the deployment you can also run into your local using docker compose you can do that just in five minutes you can run on vm using docker compose you can use docker installation if you want to deploy on your cloud so you just need to run this command and fill out all these different environment variables and you will be able to run this langfuse into your cloud environment so this is really awesome i want you to Try out this Langfuse tool because it's really awesome for prompt management, LLM tracing and observability. There are many other tools available, but this is the most user friendly tool I've got to know about. And I've tried many other tools, but this is really awesome. So give it a try. All right. I think I wanted to show Langfuse only into this tutorial. We'll be learning more other tools into future. But for this tutorial, I think this is enough. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment down if you have any doubts and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.